Oh guys, I am the biggest fan of the Audi Q5. I have always been, I continue to be, the love affair just continues. I've always loved it. It's spacious enough for me, it's comfortable, it's refined, it's luxurious enough. It kind of just does everything so well. And I think my favorite thing about it is that it's so fuss free. And that's really what you want from a car, isn't it? Especially a family car. Now I'm in the updated one. There is also the Sportback guys, OBS, okay, which is pretty much the same thing. It just has a sloping roof line, a little different maybe styling in the front, etc., and costs you more. So you know how I feel about Sportbacks, okay? But anyways, I still love the Q5. So if I sound a little not great, it's because I'm only out of isolation two days now. But shoo! That thing bloody clapped me and I'm vaccinated. And go, controversial statement. <laughs> uh, I don't care. Overall, the new Q5 or the updated one has like a front, a new front end sort of thing. It's all in the grill, really. You've got a new sort of headlight or lights, LED light. New light signature, okay? And look, it's probably not the most standout car in terms of design. I don't care about that though. Um, and the Sportback, you're looking at like, what, like Range Rover Evoque, BMW X4, Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe. Um, I still think that this one's the most beautiful. I just love it that it's just elegant, understated, does what it does so well. This is a very positive review. So if you are looking for something else, best you leave now. There's a volume button. Love me a knob, hey? <laughs> I do love my own joke. Inside, not much to report back on. Um, the infotainment system has been updated a bit. It's now apparently 10 times faster acting. So now I'm like, please, 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 please. Okay, there's no longer a rotary dial here in the center. So that means everything's done on screen or via your, you know, multi-function steering wheel. I do love that the aircon is still, you know, its own buttons because I can't stand waiting for that. It is flippin' well specced, but like often, the optional extras just rack up. So this test unit has over 200,000 rands worth of extras. It is absurd. Okay, a sunroof, a sunroof for 25,000 rand. Okay, we all know I hate a sunroof, so I think that's such a waste of money. What is the point? Um, but you know, some people like it. What I would splash out on, which is around 38,000, I think is adaptive air suspension. Um, that for me makes sense. Like, you know, the ride is more comfort. If you're gonna have bigger wheels on, it just makes it better. It also can raise the car a little bit higher in case you need to, you know, hit a bit of uneven terrain or whatever. It just has like a whole lot more um, pros to it than a fucking sunroof that just glares sun in your eye for no reason. So spend your money wisely, people. Also, something to remember. Okay, I don't know how many people know this. When you buy a car and you spec it up, when you sell it again, those features mean nothing. You don't get more. You don't ever make your money up on that, ever. So if you've spent 25,000 Rand on a sunroof, you sell this car, you can't sell it for 25,000 Rand more, obviously. So just something to always remember. I don't think people realize that because otherwise you wouldn't be specking with a sunroof. Anyways, let's get off the sunroof. So boot space here, you've got 520 liters and the Sportback it's 510 liters. So not much of a big difference there, which I'm really glad about because generally that's the pits. You know, you pay so much more money for a less practical car. 10 liters, not gonna make much of a difference, is it? Nah. So the three engines have been carried over. You've got the turbo diesel, the, which is two liter, two liter turbo petrol. And of course the SQ5, three liter V6 turbo petrol. I'm driving the turbo diesel. You get 140 kilowatts of power and 400 ne Newton meters of torque. It is perfectly mated to a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Everything about the pairing and this engine and this transmission for me just works so seamlessly. It's really beautiful and it's very smooth, um, quick shifting, like you don't really even notice that the engine's really far refined. Um, also efficient. So 
the, the fuel consumption is claimed at 6.2 litres. Um, I'm sitting at 7.7, .7, which I don't think is actually very bad, considering that I'm an auto. I've been putting it into dynamic mode because there's different modes. Dynamic makes the car more responsive. Um, you can actually really feel it, which is really nice. I would probably just always leave it at auto. If you popped it into eco mode, you could, you could get under 7 litres per 100 k's, which for a car that is... Not only the size, but a family car and everything, I think is really, really good. Like this is the engine I would choose without a doubt. Um, just in terms of efficiency and how this all pairs together, um, I think it's faultless, really. Big statement, bold statements here. Oh, there's my bestie. Let's give her all SD. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm going to show you what is in my car, playing in my car every day and I always said I would never be that parent because, you know, but here we are. Pricing is the bummer, okay, and that's just with every car at the moment, but specifically this segment which seems to have racked up so quickly It's sort of like, you know, there used to be like in the like half a mil under half a mil Like you remember when the, the, it was so expensive, but like gosh, they were so amazing and worth it Now, I mean the entry level uh, Q5 will kick you in the chops for 912,000 Rand without one optional extra, okay? So I think no matter what, if you're buying a Q5, you're going into the millions. The entry level sportback is over a mil. So you must just bear in mind that you're spending a million rand on this car. Okay, give or take, uh, which is quite depressing for me. However, it is still possibly one of my most highly recommended cars. If anyone is in this, looking at this segment and they have the money, I'm like, go for it, go for it. Because it's awesome. It was a family car, so fun. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Pressing. Oh. Not a vibe. Anyways, you go back to your life and I will go back to mine.